Abraham's Big Test God promised Abraham a son, and from that son, many descendants, who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have children. Hmm? Hmm. Twenty years went by. Still, Abraham trusted God's promise. When he was 100 and Sarah was 90, God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. God has brought me laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he laughs. God promised Abraham a son whose descendants would bless the world. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused, but still he trusted God. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused, but still he trusted God. <sighs> Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and torch. Together they climbed the mountain. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? asked Isaac. God will provide it, Abraham replied. <laughs> Abraham arranged the wood on an altar, tied up Isaac, and laid him on the wood. As he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name, Abraham. What did God tell Abraham to kill as a sacrifice? Don't hurt the boy, the angel cried. God knows you trust his promise. Look, there in the bushes, a ram is caught by its horns. Sacrifice that instead. <laughs> 
so Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will provide, because God provided the sacrifice. Just as God had said, his promise came true. Did Abraham believe God would really keep his promise? <laughs> 